Oh yeah, when you hear that music. What time is it? It's Cool Plays Bro music. We're gonna have a little different twist on it though. Usually this is the best place from the week and we go through it and we say, here's why they were so special. But I'm feeling, I don't know, nostalgic. We're done with the aughts. We're into the 20s. Mm. So I said, let's do Cool Plays Decade. The top five plays of the 2010s. Starting with number five. Let's go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Denver, 2012. Oh, no. Out. Joe Out. Flacco. No. Down seven to the number one team in football, the Broncos, and Jacoby Jones goes deep. Often lost in NFL history, this is one of the biggest plays in any franchise's history. It is the Ravens, it is Joe Flacco, it is on the road, down seven, third down on their own 30 with 40 seconds left, beats Peyton Manning and the Broncos, the number one seed in the AFC, everyone picking the Broncos to run the table. Flacco hits Jacoby on an un improbable. Raheem Moore is a UCLA guy. I don't want to talk about it. That's what I was about to say. Just, you shouldn't even have brought that up. But they go deep, and Jacoby Jones takes it to the end zone. They then would go on to beat the Patriots in Foxborough, and then would, of course, go on to win the Super Bowl in New Orleans after a power outage at halftime. Wow. This play, to me, symbolizes everything that's possible in the playoffs. Oh. No one picked the Ravens in this game. They were huge underdogs. And it was, look at this, this is where the ball is, on their own 20 with 30 seconds left, and Flacco hits Jacoby for the deep ball to put them into the next round. Upset special and one of the greatest plays of the decade. That gets Number lost, four. Peter, with the mini miracle now. I it think does. that's taken a lot of the it shine does. from this play. Well, this so they, went, they went into overtime, and that's and what Justin happened. Justin Tucker hits about yeah. a 70-yarder to win yep. it. So much Jacoby dancing. Number four, yeah, a lot of Jacoby fun. Jones. I think so. he won dancing with the stars after that. Number four. Patriots down eight after being down 28 to three. Oh, Tom Brady oh, and it. it's Julian Edelman with an insane catch in the Super Bowl. Remember, they're down 28 to three, but this is the comeback. They were down 28-20 with less than two minutes left and Julian Edelman catches that to move the chains. <laughs> Look at it one more time. Follow the ball, oh, follow uh, Julian Edelman. Simpson overthrows, gotta get those. Somehow, ah! somehow catches this. Ooh. Keeps the Patriots alive. Oh. This might be too low on the list, Triggs. It's number four right now. Ah. This is easily number one. Just look at the artistry and the concentration oh. from Edelman. Double he, catch. Somehow that doesn't touch the ground. An amazing play. One of the best plays of the decade for sure. Patriots would go on to score to tie it up. They would then win in overtime. The greatest comeback in Super Bowl history. Julian Edelman, we see you. What's three? Number three, Kyle, you mentioned it already. What do you got? I don't know where you were. It was a Sunday night. Oh, uh -huh, here we go. <laughs> this is my guy right here. I started crying when he caught this. Stephon Diggs from Case Keenum. Inexplicable oh. still that this happened. Diggs, touchdown. The How Vikings, is this not number one? The Vikings had so much scar tissue as a franchise in playoff games. They're home in the new stadium, the whole deal. Oh, my gosh. They do this. They win. They beat the Saints. Remember, the Vikings were up big in this game. Saints came all the way back. The most improbable play of that season, maybe the most improbable play of NFL history when you think about it. The Saints could have played in a prevent defense in this one. They could have done a lot of things. Case Keenum, oh <laughs> my, yeah! Keenum would go on to get a $20 million contract yeah. the next yeah. year. This made his life. Stephon Diggs is a household name, it made his. The Vikings, they're still in the playoffs, but with a whole different cast and crew, of there course. Can't be two better players. What do we Number got? Two guys. Start, uh oh. Fourth Number and two. goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's pretty good. Come on. This got him paid, too. <laughs> Come on. That play right there got him paid. Going into halftime. Oh, it's fourth down. You can kick the field goal. There's no problem. Doug Peterson calls it. Nick Foles suggests it. <laughs> Philly special it is. Corey Clement, Trey Burton, and then it's to Nick Foles. It set the tone for the rest of this game, the second half. Hey, we are not going down without a fight, and we're going to come out and give you everything. Remember, the play that set this up, maybe, was a similar type play to Tom Brady that was an incomplete. Drop Brady yes. playing as a receiver. He doesn't complete it. The Eagles, they were going to run it in the NFC Championship game the week before. That's the story. But it got so out of control. They were blowing the Vikings out by so many points. They said, let's save it for the Super Bowl. They practice it in the hotel the night before in a hotel ballroom on carpet. Yes. <laughs> Let's just do it. All right, okay. Sure enough, it's the play call. It takes them into halftime, and then the rest is history. Underdog masks the whole thing. The Eagles, the Philly Specials, number two. Before we go to number one. What do you got? Take some guesses. Let's before we go to number one. Any guesses? I think, yeah, I, th I think I know what it is. I, I think the biggest play is also on the goal line involving the Patriots, but uh, them being on offense, or rather hey, defense. MJD, what do you got? Malcolm Butler. 
Yeah, that's what. I don't know. I, I'm still like I told. I'm just going back to the Minneapolis miracle. I started crying because Stefan started crying. Yeah. Like I was like, why? Why are you crying? And why am I crying? I was on. I was watching it on TV. It was. It was ridiculous. I was crying. Number one play of the decade. It set the entire legacy for both these franchises. Out. Let's see it here. Marshawn Lynch is at the one yard line. We go to a shotgun. Throw it to Ricardo. Wilson. Oh! And Malcolm Butler steps it. Let me explain why. If the Patriots lose this game, yep. they lose three Super Bowls in a row, yep. and it is a whole different story for Brady and Belichick. If the Seahawks win this game, that's two straight Super Bowls, and we're talking dynasty, yep. legacy, greatest ever conversation. Instead, these two franchises go in diverging directions. Patriots are still doing it. Seahawks had to rebuild and get rid of the Legion of Boom, the whole thing. Can we can we see Richard Sherman's face? Richard Sherman's face. Oh, that's the greatest Undrafted cutaway. Undrafted Malcolm Butler out of West Alabama makes the biggest play of the decade. That's why you love the NFL.